So a couple things. Didn't realize that when I wear a beanie, I just look like I have a penis for a head. Uh, <laughs> I had some conversations with some other content creators. I've mentioned before that I don't want to just do reactions um, or at least not just the kind of stereotypical reactions. I want to do some different things with the channel. I want to mix things up. I want to add not just reaction stuff, but stuff that revolves around music, entertainment, things like that. Um, with music still being the focal point. But, um, you know, sorry, it's going to be a little bit of a long intro, but I've always had the mindset that to do a reaction, it has to be like a song I've never heard before. Right. And that's because I want to be authentic. That's because I want to do, you know, I, I don't want to be fake and pretend that I've heard something or I haven't heard something when I have heard it before. Right. Um, cause that takes away the kind of authenticity of the reaction, but you know, I've, I, 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 I have so many songs, so many bands I've listened to. I have a plethora of, of music that I have listened to that I like that it's kind of crazy that I'm still finding new stuff to be honest, but it was kind of pigeonholing me into this thing where I have to pick and choose my content when there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. Long story short, the channel is going to have a lot of songs or artists that I've already heard. Right. And the point of this is to, you know, I've heard songs, plenty of songs before I started doing these reactions, but I haven't gone and back and listened to these songs with like my reaction hat cap on or like actually analyzing the song right when we listen to music we don't sit there and like okay what chord progression like we just listen to stuff passively so i think it's good to kind of go back and listen to these songs i really enjoy and kind of analyze them in that way um but i also want to do uh try this out for a bit and see how this goes where we we, we react to a song and that's that and then i come back with another video doing a lot the a live version of the song and we talk about the differences and why it sounds good or bad or whatever and then we do another one where we actually break down the music and discuss chord progression and all that stuff. I think it allows for more of a deeper connection to the song and kind of a deeper conversation initially on the reaction and then focusing on each aspect. So I'm going to try some stuff with that with songs I've already heard um, and we're going to start today. So, you know, I wanted to also bring some more mental health discussions to the channel. And I think no better way to start than with Linkin Park and Chester's whole look. Um, I was one of those kids in junior high that was obsessed with Linkin Park. As you guys all know, I had issues in, in junior high of depression and, you know, suicidal tendencies and thoughts and all that stuff. Probably besides college time, maybe my worst part of my life. And Linkin Park music got me through it. Um, and once I kind of got out of that hole or whatever, and Linkin Park kind of got in, kind of got shift shifted their music a little bit. I, I kind of fell off the Linkin Park train, and then as I got older, I, I re went back to it and had a real appreciation for the newer stuff as well. Uh, but uh, one of the songs that I had heard before a couple times, but never really like gave it the light of day, was "Given Up" by Linkin Park. Um, and I do remember that the lyrics were being pretty like spot on for how I felt at that time when I was when I was depressed and um, so I want to talk about the song I want to we're going to re-listen re to it together and I'm going to kind of talk just talk about the song and what my initial reactions to listening to it um, because I have heard the song before I'm probably going to stop it here and there just for copyright reasons and also because I want to when I think of something I want to say it or I will pop out of my brain so um, all right I know that was a long intro but I kind of want to explain what's going to be happening on the channel and kind of some things that I want to bring to the channel and why you might see some songs that technically I've heard, but I still think it'll be a great conversation to have. All right. So this is given up by Linkin Park, 137 million views. So yeah, I mean, it's Linkin Park. All right, here we go. I love this intro. No escape. 
first of all, the, I really like the intro to this song. Like, it's really simple. A lot of, like, so Linkin Park has this, obviously, this whole plethora of stuff, right? They have their poppy stuff, if you want to call it that. They have their harder stuff. And then they have the stuff that made them really popular in the middle that kind of mixes those two together, right? Like, in the end, is very poppy. But it has those middle elements. Crawling is the same. Somewhere I Belong. All that stuff. It's more like pop, new metal, right? This is just a straight metal tune, right? We'll talk about the lyrics, but his voice, right? I think Chester gets a lot of attention for his, just his fry vocals because his technique is <laughs> impeccable, right? But his clean vocals, man, like I feel like they're unmatched for any rock singer. I think Chris Cornell is probably one of the best rock vocalists, just vocalists of all time. But I think Chester is unique in his sense of range that he has and the technique he uses to get different tones out of his voice and the fact that he can switch so so quickly so when he hits that i'm giving ah, well he goes that high i can't do it i have to do my false false little voice it's so clean there's no cracking like he hits that note which is amazing man like I, i i feel sometimes artists when they pass there's like this you know, say they were like an eight out of 10, like they passed. So now they're a 10 out of 10. They're the best ever. Right. I think before, but he was a little, a legitimate living legend while he was alive. People were saying he was one of the better vocalists. Now that he's passed, I think people are understanding. They're going back and re-listening to stuff and, and having that different mentality. Um, so Chester's definitely one of the best, if not the best, you can argue that he's the best, but he's definitely top three for me, for sure. Let's start from the beginning. And then I'll talk about the lyrics and then we'll go into the rest of the song and then I'll do the rest of the song. I love this hard guitar too at the beginning. You have the one. And then you got both of them coming in with the bass and the drums. Waking a, wake a sweat again. Another day has been laid to waste in my disgrace, right? So waking up in a sweat. Um, I mean, I know Chester went through like addiction and all that stuff. A lot of people with depression suffer from like night terrors and stuff. That could be the sweats. It could be, you know, withdrawal from drugs. It could be so many different things. But um, I get that portion. Another day has been laid to waste in my disgrace. I do feel like when you are in that mental state that a lot of things happen and a lot of it is self-doubt. A lot of it is self-deprecation and you know, you want to have the drive to feel better. If I just go outside, I might feel better. And then you don't, but then when you don't, you get mad at yourself and you feel disgraceful. You feel like you're wasted the day that you wasted your opportunity to feel better. Right. It's this kind of almost self-indulgent hatred for yourself that feeds how you already feel in my disgrace stuck in my head again feels like i'll never leave this place there's no escape i'm my own worst enemy i've given When he goes into the bro, the fry wrong, bro, like it, it hits me. I don't know what to take. I thought I was focused, but I'm scared. I'm unprepared. Yeah. What do I take to make me feel better? Man, it's just like, I feel like it was right in front of us. And I'm sure a lot of people understood, right? But 
I think it was right in front of us how Chester was feeling. And looking back, there's a lot of relating to this from a lot of people. But I think when people like see people in a, in a song, in a band and stuff, like it's part of it's like playing an act, right? But man, it's crazy to think that he was basically like, it was essentially a cry for help in his music that helped others, but we weren't able to help him. And that just sucks, you know? Um, yeah. And no one cares. I think that hits the hardest, man. Depression could be a, like the most loneliest feeling ever. You could be with people. It's not about like, oh, I'm alone. It's like mentally, I feel like nobody understands where I'm at. So even if I were to confide in somebody, I can't like emotionally and physically, you know, bear my soul to somebody because they don't understand. That's how you feel so alone from it. I hide Every time. Oh shit. Mm. this song and i don't remember that scream being that fucking long man i feel like this is I, my favorite song from them in their terms of like how hard it goes is one step closer but i think this is probably their hardest song and again i haven't heard every single song from them but i've heard most of it bro that scream was crazy is that like that's got to be a record for how maybe not for how long but the fact that he changed tonality in one breath and then went directly into like singing clean is fucking crazy, man. I, I gotta hold on. I gotta time it. I'm gonna try and start it right when he's screaming. Where are we at? Right. Uh, I want to hear this. I want to hear this hard fucking part again because I want to break shit. Hmm. Lo-fi guitar. That squeal of the guitar is so good. I just spit because I'm like, I don't even <clears throat> like, obviously, like I said, I listened to Linkin Park's first two albums a lot, right? So I know what he can do with his voice, but it's like, that was the next level. It said, uh, 17, 
it's about right i don't know if i stopped it exactly but 17 seconds he held that screen which is crazy in and of itself but then he also like went down in tonality right and then he also did it in one breath and then he went right into clean vocals and i'm pretty sure in the recording it wasn't he did the scream took a break and then went and did it i know uh chester is notorious for one takes so that was fucking nuts dude uh, honestly this is probably i still think for what it meant to me and nostalgia purposes probably one step closer is my favorite along with um the live in texas version of a uh, place for my head but this one's like top two or three for me for sure man i really like the song i'm curious if he can do that live because you know how much breath control you need for that i'm sure he can i'm just curious if if there's a live version you leave a comment down below if there's a live version where he holds it that that whole thing and does that whole thing live i want to hear it we'll do that one next because i want to break down that kind of vocal bit <laughs> i had a whole thing i was going to talk about and i just kind of like threw me through a loop yeah it's a shame man like we lost Chris Cornell and then a year to the day we lost uh Chester and honestly the Chris Cornell one like yeah it sucked um but then when Chester died it, it I was like one of the first celebrities I guess you could say that like affected me negatively just because of all of the things that Linkin Park got me through like their music and the irony of like them got they got a lot of us through a lot of shit in our lives but we couldn't help him right it's them but he he helped a lot of us with their meet with their music get through a lot of shit in our lives but we couldn't help him it's just like it's unfortunate that was nuts like i said i've heard that song before but i don't remember that long of a fry hold i guess that's what happens when you're actually sitting down and analyzing it right that's crazy but yeah we're gonna revisit this again we're, we're gonna do a live version please let me know in the comments which where you can leave a link um or just tell me what the video is but i want to make sure if there is one he does that live i want to analyze it so i appreciate the love and support you guys have been showing me i did open up a buy me a coffee link so um if for whatever reason you do feel like um helping out the channel you can do it through paypal buy me a coffee uh, i have a patreon where stuff like this is going to be on there early access you can message me directly uh those of you who are patreon members you can message me directly on what reactions you'd like to see and you'll be moved to the top of the list lots and lots of cool stuff there tv show reactions movie show reactions i'm going to start posting my process in recording music and uh journaling me kind of relearning the guitar a little bit uh because i have created a lot of bad habits over the years that i need to fix uh, so just a lot of cool brain dump stuff on the patreon and like i said early access stuff here so i really do appreciate the love and support you guys have been showing me and please do remember that good vibes are contagious. 